Hey, this is Avi Gutman with another Ask Me Anything event brought to you by QuantReasoning.com. I invite you to join me live next time. We do this every Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern, and you can attend for free by starting your free trial at QuantReasoning.com. I'm not going to show you an algebraic solution at all for this question. Um, it's a pretty straightforward solution, and it's very easy to find on Google. It really lends itself to, uh, to drawing a number line, right? Because they're describing a rope that's 20.6 meters long. So there's the total length of the rope, and then they're saying we're going to cut it into two pieces, a long one and a short one. And we're given the difference between those lengths. So I'm going to put a little tick mark there, and I'll say, look, I've got some length there and I've got some other length there, and I know that they sum up to 20.6, but I know that the short one is 2.8 meters shorter than the long one. And so what we can do at that point is say, look, if the midpoint is right there, let's say, that's the midpoint, right? So you've got 10.3 on each side of that black arrow. But we know that this distance here on the left is 2.8 shorter than this longer distance. Who can help me now infer what this distance here in orange must be? In other words, how far apart are the point at which we cut the rope and the midpoint of the entire length of the rope? How far apart are they? What do you all think? If, if the short one is exactly 2.8 shorter than the long one, then what's this orange distance? And if it helps, we could draw an equal one of that orange distance here. Why? Why is that helpful? Because then we can say that, I don't know if this is helpful or not, you can let me know in the comments, but we can say that these, these yellow pieces are equal, and then we have, I guess this whole thing would be 2.8, and then each of these is 1.4. And what's the question asking for? It's asking for this length. So we know half was 10.3, and we have another 1.4, and so the answer is 11.7. Now, is that a better solution than the algebraic solution? I don't know, they're similar. Uh, I think for some people, the algebra solution would be easier. Anything for other people, the number line solution is easier. Just for my own curiosity, can you let me know in the chat box which you find easier, solving this algebra algebraically or with a number line? And while you're typing that, I can share with you an experiment that was done on students at Harvard, I, I believe it was undergraduate students at Harvard who participated in this experiment. And what they did in the experiment is they asked all these students the following question. If a baseball bat and a baseball ball together cost a dollar and ten cents, and the bat was a dollar more than the ball, how much was the ball? And I hope I'm remembering the statistics correctly, but I, I believe it was at least 90% of the students got this wrong and said that the ball was 10 cents. Of course, if they thought about it for a few seconds, they would have realized that if the ball is 10 cents and the bat is a, a dollar more than 10 cents, then together they're a dollar 20, which is not what the question stated, right? It said that the, together they were a dollar and 10. And the vast majority of students at Harvard got it wrong, and it's because they didn't think about it, they just kind of, you know, their intuition led them astray. Their intuition led them to say 10 cents, but that wasn't the right answer. And the way to do that kind of thing algebraically is to say, well, the ball is x, the bat is x plus a dollar, and together we know that that's 1.1, so that means that 2x is 0.1, and x is 0.05. Right? So, and the algebra would look very similar to this question about the rope. Uh, but I see that most of you in the chat box have said that you prefer using number line for this. Is that true? Uh, about half and half. About half and half. And this might be an interesting thing to experiment with. Put them on opposite sides of zero. So we would say, here's zero. Here's the long side. Here's the short side. Whatever that side is, this side is 2.8 more than that. And altogether, it's 20.6. That could be interesting. Uh -huh, yeah, I think this is a bit more intuitive, even more visual, yeah. 
So the 2.8 comes out of the zero to the right. And what do you want to bet that they'll have an answer choice for the shorter one? What happens if we subtract 2.8 from this? We get 8.9. Yeah, so they, they did provide an answer choice for the people who read the question too quickly and answered the wrong thing. And of course, they also uh, offered us the other trap answer choice for those who just take half of 20.6. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.